Hi, this is Brian, and this is David from 360 Immersive. And today we have a really exciting discussion. We're going to talk about the Oculus Quest and where things are going to go from there. So David, what is the Oculus Quest going to be able to do for us that the Go and the Rift cannot? Well, let me tell you a little bit about headsets in general. So if you think about the um, Oculus Rift or the HTC Vibe, they're, they're tethered. They've got all this, this yes. stuff that uh, is all tethered. I mean, yes. we've got wires <laughs> and you have to have PCs to drive them. And what was your option? Well, in the old days, being a year ago, <laughs> uh, you could take your phone and you could put it in a cardboard headset. Those are kind of your options. And then the o Oculus Go came out. The Oculus Go, especially for the classroom, when it comes to VR safety training, it, it's a, an amazing device because it's all in one and it's literally optimized for VR training, for virtual reality. But what it doesn't do that the tethered units do do is it doesn't have a sense of the environment. You can't really move around in it. It's essentially like a phone-based system. Without the phone. Without mm -hmm. the phone. And, and it is a great piece of hardware and we'll be using the Go for, for many months from now. Mm -hmm. But the Oculus Quest is something like this in mm -hmm. this form factor. Mm -hmm. And yet it has sensors built into it that gives you what's called room sense. Okay. So you have that six degrees of freedom, meaning that you can move around. If it's ergonomics, you can you can bend down to li simulate lifting up something, okay. keeping your back straight. You can you can simulate a, a slips, trips, or falls. Oh wow! Scenario, and it understands where you are in that environment, and so it's going to be revolutionary because we don't have. All these. The cords and, the cords wires, and wires coming wires. out of your head and yes. So the other thing that we're hoping for, because the Go has a single controller, the Quest will have a dual right. controller, much like the tethered headset, and then so that you'll have more flexibility in your interactivity, but also we're hoping for interaction with gloves so that we can reach out and grab things with the Quest and we can move, we can do a lockout tag out simulation Absolutely. and close a valve or close a handle. That type of VR simulation is going to be absolutely amazing. So it's not going to be as good from a hardware standpoint quite as, as a tethered, tethered unit because mm -hmm. you don't have the PC driving it. But it's going to be far better than the Go and most importantly, no wires. So you'll be able to go better with the Quest. Exactly that. <laughs> and you ought to coin that. <laughs> well, David, thank you so much for giving us an update on what we may be able to expect with the Quest um, and kind of tying it in together, the comparison between where we were and where we're going. Um, if you have any questions or have any comments, feel free to drop them below. Follow us if you want to learn more about VR training technology and the future. Thank you. This has been Brian and David with 360 Immersive.